so exceptions are something that in any piece of code any line of your code that is causing an error message or uh, some error it, it got it's not able to complete that statement execution successfully it got compiled properly but at the time of running something happened to get it successfully run in that case it can throw an error message so that error messages we call them as exceptions so for throwing that exception messages so if you know that a particular method can throw these kind of exceptions you can just specify before your method definition so this may throw these kind of exceptions but even if you don't specify that's okay most of the times but whatever the pieces of code that you suspect that it may throw this kind of exception you have to put them in a try block okay so try executing these statements if you can if there is any exception catch those exceptions in the catch block okay if there is no exception then there is nothing to catch then directly go to finally after executing try and after that anything is there that will get executed after finally same like your java try catch finally blocks whatever the lines of scala code that you suspect that it may throw an error message that you put inside your try block generally the exceptions would be like when you are reading a file file not found exception or uh, if you are accessing an array uh, if that array is having only 10 elements you, if you are trying to access the 15th element then that throws array index out of bounds exception um, and there are scenarios like there is a string with empty empty value but uh, you are trying to uh, calculate some some length or trying to compare with some other uh, string uh, with that null string you will get null pointer exceptions and if you have a some string value converting to integer that is string hello is there if you want to convert that into integer the number format exceptions and similarly if something is not able to connect then you will get connection exception all these things okay and usage of exceptions obviously comes with experience for beginners um, most of the times whatever the exceptions that i i i listed down here so if you have any such kind of operations inside your program you can put them in a try block you can put them in a try block so all the lines inside that try, try block will get executed as usual if something goes wrong then only the catch block will get executed for them for example this is an example for both java um, both for your uh, scala exceptions and as well as reading any content from a file okay so writing file content i i leave up to your you to do a google research but already the simple code is there here so if you have to read any file in scala we have scala io source package in this source class you can specify the file path source dot from file and this is the arrow syntax that can assign uh, this this returns actually a list of lines and for every line this for loop okay so every line in this you are specifying the path of the file here and this gets all the lines as a list and i am looping through that lines and i'm just printing those lines here okay. 
okay so but when you are reading a file there are some some kind of exceptions that may occur the file may not present there and reading uh, some access is not there file is present but you don't have access then you may get another io exception okay but all these classes will have a class called super class called exception and any kind of exception that you get that is a subclass of that super class exception and unlike your java you will have only one catch block and inside that you will specify with the help of case statements the help of case statements um uh, ideally you should be specifying this way that if you are not sure Unlike your Java catch blocks, in Java you will have for each exception you will have a separate catch block. But in Scala you will have only one catch block, and inside that catch block itself will specify all your exceptions. But here in specifying the order, you have to make sure that the more specific exception comes always at the top, because if any of these exception gets satisfied at the top. that will get executed as you know in the switch case statements whichever the first case statement that gets matched that will get executed and that will uh execute that case statement and will come out of that so i executed this program um so in the successful case it executed all the statements in try block and it didn't execute anything inside your catch block but it executed the finally block okay same like your java behavior and anything after that if you have finally even that will also get executed print l and off after um finally if i have this even that after finally should um i think it didn't get compiled because of errors in the other test right okay so that has gone okay so now you can see uh, all the record 1 record 2 record 3 so in the successful scenario it printed all the records and it skipped the catch and it printed whatever is there in the finally and then it it executed whatever is there after finally okay in the failure scenario let's say if i give the file name as my input 2.txt if there is exception arised so how will that be like so it is saying that file not found exception it got an exception which is file not found exception 
and inside file not found exception what i am doing i am simply printing missing file exception and after that it is printing me the, the finally block and is there anything after this uh, finally uh, even that getting executed if you want to kill after case exception because file itself is not there if you don't want to go further so you can put that so any exit or printing stack trace, all those things. Okay. So this the the functioning of try catch block and finally try catch finally blocks is a pretty same. Only difference is in Scala you will have in, within one catch block you can have multiple case statements and you have to make sure that the more specific exception always comes at the top and the more generic exception always comes at the bottom because if I move this exception to the top because exception is a super class and IO exception is a subclass of this exception and file not found exception is also one of the IO exception. If I reverse the order of these things, you will never get the file not found exception because any kind of exception is an exception class only. That the first case itself will get matched and that will get executed and that will come out. I hope you got that. Yeah, this is clear, uh, Shiva. Uh, okay. One question. If I want yeah. to connect some uh, database and access the data from the table, uh -huh. uh, how can I do that? Uh, so this is file accessing. This is file accessing. Uh, for, uh, for a database, you need to have a JDBC connection string. Same like your Java JDBC, uh, the, either you can use the same Java JDBC connection code like uh, that, um, that's like a JDBC template will be there, um, or I will show you in the Spark SQL with the even more simpler way to access your uh, DB tables. Mm, yes, yeah, Spark SQL is uh, fine, uh, Shiva, if I want no, no. use it. You using your Scala code itself. Okay. Using your Scala code. If you know the JDBC program, is the same program you can write in, in Scala as well. And I'll, uh, I'll try to plan uh, one example for you on that as well. Okay? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, it's not necessarily the presentation. If you give some program, that, that would be great. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll arrange that. This is nothing, the only reason I didn't put that is, um, so it's nothing different from JDBC and your Scala uh, DB connection. Same same programs we use. Okay, uh, I have not used any JDBC in Java. So yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll ask Praveen to give you any any example that from Scala, so she will put it there in the yeah. story, okay? Okay, thank yeah. you. So, um, if you want to write your own custom exception classes also, it's very simple. Case class custom exception, extending your super class exception and make use of that. Whenever exception occurs, you call this new custom exception. 